What's going on everybody, Ed0626 here, bringing you a little bit of Most Wanted in the Red De Dead Redemption 2 Showdown series playlist. A uh, really quick thing about this gameplay before I get into the meat and potatoes, as I like to say, of this commentary. So, the re you're going to see a lot of sporadic movement and, like, it's an and how insane it is to shoot. We were actually playing on a hardcore style playlist, which actually is pretty solid, but... The reason being is that uh, you can't auto-aim, so me not being able to auto-aim was like, holy shit, what do I do? And that explains a lot of the sporadic movement and the everywhere shots I was having. So, apologize for if it kind of fucks with your eyes a little bit. Just want to give you guys a heads up on that. So, Red Dead Redemption 2. Some reason, it's actually becoming a little bit more fun to play. And... There's a couple of factors, I think, attest to this. One is the community itself, and two, the I think Rockstar is actually starting to put some effort into the game. Actually, a bigger effort than they, than they have over the last year or so. I don't know what it is, man. It's hard for me to give you guys like a, a set thing, but this is just what I think are the reasons that Red Dead 2 is fun to play. For one, like I said, the community. I actually find the Red Dead community a little bit more mature than the GTA community. If you go into a GTA 5 free roam lobby with, say, I don't know how many people there are, say 20 people, odds are somewhere on the map there are fucking ten, at least a quarter of those guys fighting it out on a portion of the map, whether it be the city, blowing shit up, causing cops to show up, or killing other people, fucking with other people's CEO stuff, that sort of deal. Or, you know, and then there's that, that select group of people that are just kind of trying to mind their business and hope to God that they're not noticed on the map for the other guys to attack them. I mean, it's, it's a mixture of both. In Red Dead 2, I don't really get that much. I don't get that whole fear for my life sort of thing. You know, I can play Red Dead 2, I can hunt without bothering anybody, and if I do see someone, I just emote them like a wave or some shit, and then they'll just be like, oh, yeah, he's not gonna fuck with me, and then we go on about our day. Like, Red Dead 2 is actually, like, surprisingly mature, because, and I haven't really run into anybody that tries to fuck with me when I try to do my deliveries and stuff like that, like, when it comes to my trader. And of course, I don't really have much else, uh, considering, or even like, not even like that. Even like when me and my friends do other stuff, like moonshine, bounty hunter businesses, or bounty hunter stuff. Um, and again, even the naturalist stuff, when they're hunt, when either I'm hunting and then they're doing the naturalist stuff, like nobody fucks with us. And I think the closest we've came to an issue over the last month and a half or so since I've started playing this again. Because I did take a break from it for a while, like, I think what attests to that is just that, you know, I don't, I just don't know, I, I mean, like, the, the, I just find the community to be a little bit more mature. Now, a lot of people complain about the fact that, um, Red Dead 2 is becoming more of a grinding type of game when it was never really supposed to be like what GTA 5 has become. And to an extent, I see the argument, but in all honesty... With everything being so fucking expensive in this game, and how how little money you do get for missions like Stranger Missions and so on, I can see why people would rather grind the uh, certain things instead of others. It makes sense to me. I don't know about you guys, but it makes sense to me. Like, Stranger Missions, you probably get at most 20-something bucks out of it. Same thing with certain Bounty Hunter missions. But, you know, if you do... If you're lucky... You get a shit ton of XP uh, and a shit ton of money if you do trader missions or moonshine related stuff. If you're the moonshine owner and not the guy helping out because we all know you don't make any money off that either. But it, it comes in handy, you know? And then apparently uh, Rockstar is gearing up for a big update coming up soon. Later in the... I think it's either... It's coming up this month or in October, the Halloween update that everyone's talking about online. And I don't know what this Halloween update's going to consist of because I haven't really been keeping track of the news of, of, of anything regarding Red Dead 2. I'm hearing things that you can actually get houses now, which is cool, like... Although it's going to cost a fuck ton of gold, which I don't have, and I'm saving for the Arabian horse. So, 
that's going to be a little bit of a tough one for me, you know, that's that's all I'm going to say about that. But in all in all, I mean, for someone that hasn't played this game in quite a while, just because it's not that I've never disliked the game, like, I don't hate Red Dead 2. I actually really enjoy Red Dead 2. It's just that after a while, you have to wonder what the incentive is to play besides grinding. I mean, Showdown series sucks ass. I don't enjoy that at all. I mean, hell, I was lucky enough to be, um... To even have a decent game out of this considering there was no auto aiming or anything so i was in shock in that regard thank god i was able to get away from that dude that was shooting me or else i really would have been dead but um but yeah what do you guys think in the comment section below if you got if you're in the red dead 2 community you come across this video like like what do you think about what i said you think the community is a reason why this game has been actually a little bit more fun to play as of late granted Red Rockstar and Red Dead 2 servers have had their issues with disconnections and such, but I think since they accidentally glitched out the lobbies for less people, I personally haven't had any issues. I don't know about anyone else down in the comment section or people that come across this video. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I really want to know what you guys think about that sort of thing. Do you think I'm right? Do you think I'm wrong? Do you think is there something I missed that I didn't touch on that you maybe noticed? I'd love to know. So give me a heads up down in the co in the comments below. And uh, with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you all in the next one. And goddamn, I did a pretty solid job. Third place. Third place. And I was actually winning this game at one point, if you noticed. I'm pissed I didn't win. But anyway, see you guys on the next video. Have a great day, and peace out.